Lisa Bryant called me on the Jacobs House phone, and when I answered, she said that she had heard about Jacob's house from a friend of hers and that they were asking from the email that she had read about donating twenty dollars a month and when when she called me she had been crying because she said she actually went to our website and she had watched all the videos that we had on the website and read everything about Jacob. She said that she was an artist and she told me about how she painted murals and um, how she wanted to do something for the house that we were dreaming about building in the Temecula Marietta area. I first learned about Jacob's house through a friend of mine who sent me a link on my email to attend a, a fundraising event in Old Town Temecula. I first decided what type of mural to do when I met with Sean, Jacob's father, and Stephanie, and Jennifer, Jacob's sister and mother, and speaking with them. So shortly after that, um, we actually placed uh, Lisa Bryant on our board agenda and she met with, with our board and came in and um, talked about the passionate connection that she had with our vision. I got the inspiration to paint Jacob's house when I spent three hours looking at the videos and the testimonies of, of Jacob and the, the people who spoke about Jacob and the inspiration of Jacob's house and what it meant to so many people and what this house will mean for so many people, how it will impact uh, so many hurting families that I wanted to make something really lovely, serene, and tranquil for them because of the crises that they're going through, and I wanted to make something beautiful for them. When, when Lisa Bryant started on the project, we were really thrilled, not only with the energy and effort, but the professional manner in which she kept everything uh, completely clean and spotless when she left. The amazing thing about Lisa Bryant is that she did things above and beyond our expectations. She actually put personal touches and did a lot of research to do that. So she actually went to our website, looked at pictures of Sean and Jacob and myself, and um, she went to and put on, like there's a, boy, a man helping his son fish. There's so many special things, and she thought out everything. From every tree, from every rock, she thought how it would relate to us or how something was at the house, here at our house, at Jacob's house. Well, you know, the other thing that, that, that was really amazing to me anyway, a couple things, Stephanie alluded to the fact that she wanted the, the, the man and the son in, in the mural to, the father and son to, to kind of look like Jacob and myself, which I thought was amazing. She also had mentioned that, that she had showed a picture of doves previously and, and that I really liked that. And so she in, in included the doves in the mural. But I think the thing that's most amazing to me anyway, and, and Lisa would have never known this, is that um, we, we have a painting that Stephanie's grandmother had of this country setting where there's a country house, there's a lake, and what Lisa doesn't know is I told her that um, that painting I keep, I keep close to me because it reminds me of one day, that perfect day when, when we're all going to be together again in heaven. And I really see something very similar to, to this mural that she painted here in Jacob's house. And, and those are one of those divine connections that Lisa would have never known. But I think that's why this mural is so special. Uh, to us and, and, and to me personally because this mural really does depict what I believe one day is going to be that perfect day when we're going to be able to see our son again. So I think it's really phenomenal that she chose this type of picture. We're honored that um, she donated and invested all this time for Jacob's house. But I think most importantly, the families that are going to be here when they're going to be in a life and death situation. I believe this painting is gonna provide peace and serenity for those families that are here. And I think that's the greatest gift that Lisa could have ever given to Jacob's house.